What's going on neighbors of Saxy, Texas? If you don't know who I am, my name is Griffin Thomas. I'm the owner of Preferred Pest Management right down the road from you guys in Rollette, Texas. And continuing our series, if you're new to me in this series, um, I try once a week, uh, keyword try, just had a newborn, so it's been a little tough lately, but I try once a week to publish a video for all of our surrounding areas, you know, Saxe, Wiley, Rollette, Rockwall, just all of our surrounding suburbs. I try to post at least one video a week about one of our blog posts that specifically you know, help you homeowners that I notice I get specific questions or I deal with specific issues in, um, you know, each individual suburb. And lately we have been noticing in Saxe, Texas, an increase in overall ant activity, uh, which makes sense. You know, we're now in the full, you know, pretty much summer now where it's Memorial Day at the time of shooting this video, which by the way, if you are an active service member or veteran, we offer 5% discounts off of all of our pest control services services for you all uh, as a thank you because you know it's a minimum that we can do for you guys just let us know if you sign up with us or you're a military member we give you five percent off uh, which adds up to some pretty good savings for sure um, but back to the point of this video today we're going to be talking about just how you can get rid of ants in your Saxe Texas home of course, you got me with the little thumbnail picture, goodbye ants, and in our little introduction, like we were talking about, ants are a common problem, you know, for homeowners in Saxe. Um, and this article will discuss how you can identify and eliminate ant infestations in your Saxe, Texas home. So, of course, you know, I'm sure most of you all know by now, you know, how to identify an ant. Uh, but sometimes, you know, there's things that people don't pay attention to. Frass is one of the main ones that we tend to run into specifically with like carpenter ant issues. If you don't know what frass is, what frass is, is it almost looks like, it, it can almost look like sawdust a lot of times. It'll look almost like a powdery type of substance. Um, and like it says here, you know, ant waste. It looks like sawdust and can be found near an ant nest. So usually where we'll find these in the most common areas are gonna be around window sills, doorways, usually around the exterior, you know, of the home, around the exterior of your foundation. Of course, if you can find the nest, you know, you're gonna ultimately be able to solve the problem. And then even trails, you know, of course, trails are what are most common, what you all see whenever you give us a call, because you know, you wake up one morning, you go downstairs and you see just ants trailing all over the kitchen sink or something thing like that is definitely our most common call. So how do we get rid of ants in your home? So of course, you know, sealing up entry points is going to be the most um, cost effective way of, you know, pest control overall. And especially for ants, the main issue with ants and trying to seal up entry points is ants can enter through the most tiniest microscopic little entry points you would have to essentially sit around all of your outlets. We've had plenty of homes where we had to take plates off of outlets and actually inject our chemical bait into there to help get rid of ants. But ceiling entry points, you know, at least the ones that are obvious, it can be, you know, if your home has shifted and your baseboards, the little seal along your baseboard and floor where, they, where the joint is, you can reseal those, especially around the exterior perimeter, around the foundation, uh, or not on the exterior, but the exterior walls of your home. Those are going to be the ones you definitely want to have sealed up. Um, you know, do what you can. Like I say, you're not going to be able to get every single one, but you'll at least be able to mitigate the amount of entry points and make it tougher for them. Another really big entry point that a lot of people, uh, not just in Saxe, but all over DFW, don't think about until we point it out is underneath of, you know, your kitchen sink, bathroom sinks, all that type of stuff where your plumbing lines run into the wall, there's a usually pretty good sized hole there. And, and you know, bugs like us, they need moisture and food to survive. So with the moisture source, they're gonna come up through the plumbing line area. And if you have that sealed off, sure they could try to, you know, come up through the plumbing drain, but like we were mentioning, when it comes to sealing, we at least wanna, you know, minimize all the little entry points possible. So if you seal that up, that's another way to help prevent ants. Of course, you know, removing food sources, keeping everything cleaned up, using ant baits and sprays like we were mentioning that we'll have to do a lot of times whenever, um, you know, you just run out of, you know, entry points you can think of off the top of your head. And then of course, you know, you can hire us 
um, or you know, if you're not even in the Saxe, Texas area or DFW in general, just hiring some sort of pest control professional to at least um, one, of course, take care of a severe ant infestation that's just gotten out of control. And also um, for preventative measures, most of our customers get on either a quarterly or a yearly service plan. Um, usually people do quarterly or uh, biannual. Biannual means, you know, spring and fall. Um, the quarterly service is usually the best because it gives you the all around um, 365 day guarantee, which means if ants were to show up in your home for any reason at all, you know, we'll come back for free of charge. Me personally, you know, I'll, I'll come out there and help take care of your ant issue for sure. Um, at no additional cost. We don't charge, you know, callback fees or anything like that. Um, that's the beauty of, you know, having some kind of maintenance. Plus you get our, uh, expertise in that as well. So some frequently asked questions that we get a lot is, are ants dangerous to humans? So most ants, they're not really dangerous or anything. Of course, we deal with fire ants, acrobat ants, some of these quote unquote stinging, biting ants. Um, you know, if you have some kind of allergic reaction, they could, you know, pose some harm. Uh, but for the most part, most ants aren't going to be dangerous. Um, can they cause structural damage to homes? Specifically, a carpenter ant can technically cause um, you know, structural damage to a home by burrowing into the wood. Like I explained to most of my customers, however, um, they don't just do this to any type of wood. They're gonna do this in dry rotted wood, you know, older wood that's already kind of beat up and damaged to begin with. So it's nothing that you need to like lose sleep over, but you know, from a technical standpoint, they are classified as a wood destroying insect. Uh, and how long does an ant treatment take? That literally, like it says here, my answer, it depends on, on the severity of the infestation. Best route to go is preventative, of course, you know, get ahead of it. But if you're already, you know, dealing with the infestation, if it's a light to monitor infestation, we can usually get rid of it within a few days to maybe two weeks at the most. I always tell our customers, if after about two weeks you're still seeing live activity, let us know. You might see some dead ones for a while. Dead ones are good ones, but you shouldn't see any live activity after about two weeks of service. If so, then we need to go ahead and do a follow-up treatment, which is the beauty, again, of the quarterly service, you know, that follow-up treatment would be completely free for you if you're on our quarterly service plan and then of course in conclusion you know like we're talking about they can be fresh these ants you know they're super frustrating if you lived here long enough in the dfw area saxe wiley rollet garland etc you know that <laughs> ants are almost all your issue uh, specifically at the time of me writing this article which was you know about a week ago may 21st it's now may 29th at the time of doing this it's now starting to get a little hot. We've been uh, not getting as much rain as of late, and I've noticed that has actually caused an uptick, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, in ant activity in the Saxe area because, you know, like I mentioned, they need water and food. That's the main thing they need. That's why you're going to see them in kitchens, bathrooms, all that type of stuff. Um, and like I said, if you all need any services or any, you, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments of this video, uh, or if you're seeing it on social media, whatever the case may be, comment there. And of course, if you're needing service, feel free to call uh, us directly. Our number's on the website as well, but my personal business cell phone number, which is not this number, uh, but it does ring directly through to my number directly. It's just like a um, call tracking number to let me know where you know people are finding us from. Uh, it'll go straight through to my business cell phone number, but if you all would like that directly, that number is 214. 399-3879. You can check us out online. We have over, you know, if you look at all of our, you know, review platforms, we have over 105, I think 120 now, uh, five star, nothing but five star reviews. And uh, yeah, I would love to earn your trust in business. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, reach out to me directly. And I look forward to doing business with you all and helping you all in any way I can. Have a good rest of the weekend and happy Memorial Day, everybody.